What's up, YouTube? Intricate Explorer here today. I'm an adventure photographer. And I'm here with, shout out Alan Good Young, buddy. and Dylan Emerson, gun boy. <laughs> and we're going fucking shooting. And we're deep in the heart of Texas, like deep, deep. There's no cell reception out here. So this is gonna be dope. We're riding this old school pickup truck. Yeah, and I'm gonna ride in the back on the way there. Get the footage. My wristwatch is broken. My shoes are untied Time is a ticking And so is the tide But I am not worrying Things are what they are Come rain or come shine Or a shooting star What's the WE stand for? William Edmiston Ah, uh, okay He's my, uh, my grand grandpa's brother Okay. He owned, this is his property we're shooting on right now. Gotcha. Yeah, so his uncle gave us the wrong combo to the gate, so we're carrying everything in. So we can't open the gate. No, 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 that's over your shoulder. Put it over your head. Alright, so basically, we're gonna be shooting from here and trying to hit that target way out there. It's the deer. Up. Got it right there. Damn. All right, so while they're out shooting over there, I'm doing my own kind of shooting, and I really like this old pickup truck that's just starting to like rot away in the woods right here. It's got a flat tire and everything. So I'm gonna try and capture a shot of that somehow. So when I'm editing this shot, I'm actually using an effect called the Orton effect where I took the photo, duplicated it, and then on the second photo, I basically just decreased the um, clarity of it and up the brightness and contrast just a tiny bit, and then I overlaid that over the original image. So it's adding this almost kind of dreamlike state over the top of the image, which is making it have this really cool texture, otherworldly feel to it. I'm just absolutely in love with all the cacti out here. It feels very much like Red Dead Redemption. Look at all these things. It's so beautiful. So, three rules of firearm safety are never let your muzzle cross something that you are not absolutely willing to destroy. Second rule is keep your finger out of the trigger, off the trigger, out of the trigger guard. So. When you hold a finger, this is where your finger goes. When you mm -hmm. hold a gun, this is where your finger goes. And then the last rule is just treat all guns as if they're loaded and will go off. Now that we got the basics down of shooting, we're gonna go actually hunting for a deer. And I'm not gonna be hunting, I'm just gonna be watching because I don't really know how to shoot a rifle. So, I'm just gonna observe, and yeah, we got these feeder boxes we're gonna hang out in, the deer are gonna come, and let's hop over to that. All right, we're entering the ranch, so I'm not really gonna be able to vlog because it's, you have to be super duper quiet. We may be able to whisper a little bit. We might be able to whisper, but. We'll try it out when we get there, and like, uh, yeah. see if we can get anything going. Hey, up, uh, what's up, internet? This is Dylan, he's building an Iron Man suit. I'm building an Iron Man suit. You can subscribe right here. <laughs> I'd say if I had the link. So those are our buddies way up there. Just loading the guns right now. We've officially entered the ranch so a deer could come running in any second. <laughs> All right, I ran back to my car for two seconds to get a chair 
and so I just heard the gunshot and I'm coming back to see what happened. Did you get it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry you weren't here to see it. I know, I was like, god damn it. Yeah. That was the big one, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it looked bigger, man. It looked bigger than the scope, but it's still a big deer. It's like still a decent sized deer, it's just, it's a smaller buck than I thought it was. Either. Unfortunate. I mean, he didn't go anywhere, but you can see that was a little, fur like I was aiming here, but I hit him there. Damn. So this is the entry wound, but the exit wound's a lot larger. So, yeah. Damn. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. There he is right there. Day two. I just got bit by some crazy ass shit. I have no idea what it was. I went to grab the seatbelt to the car and fucking... I don't know what happened, but I just feel this like sharp, intense burning in the muscle in my fingers for the next like 15 minutes. I just got to figure it figured out. It's like slowly going down and I watched it under the sink for like 15 minutes, but I'm guessing it was like a fire ant or a spider or some weird shit. There's a lot of stuff in Texas that's trying to kill you. So I didn't know bugs could hurt that fucking bad. It felt like a bee sting times like 20 for like 15 minutes and now it's just like going away. So we keep a close eye on it. Hopefully it doesn't swell up or anything, but you know, be careful if you're in Texas. All right, so Dylan's dad says he thinks it was a scorpion. Symptoms are about the same. It was really fucking intense for like 10 minutes there and now it's feeling much better. I still have like some weird muscle spasms and pain in my muscles, but whatever. It's basically gone now. Weird. All right, day two. We're on our way to shoot a pig now. And it's gonna be interesting. Our friend Alan is uh, trying to shoot a doe deer, so maybe we'll see that too. Yeah, they're at a different lookout point than we're working on though. So we'll catch up with you in a few minutes. Day three. All right guys, so I've arrived at the junkyard. It's a junkyard where my friend's ranch, the Edmondson's ranch, they basically just dropped and got rid of any metal old machinery that they've had in the past couple years that they didn't need anymore. And it's actually pretty infested with rattlesnakes. They warned me about coming here and it was just so worth, like look at this. Just old machinery everywhere. I'm actually out here by myself right now because they're out hunting. Alan hasn't, one of my buddies, hasn't gotten a deer yet. And this is the last morning, so they're out. I just heard something. Super paranoid about rattlesnakes right now. Oh, for this shot, I'm gonna get this nice blue Chevy. Got some nice sunrise coming right up there, some nice colors, and then I got some great weeds right here I'm gonna put in as a foreground element to kind of blur it and give it a little bit of depth. All right, so what I'm looking for now is objects I can use to frame something. Um, so, like some circular object, or wire, or weird tree branches, so I can have a subject and encompass in it with something in the foreground, basically. I found this tire that I'm basically gonna use as a frame. So I'm gonna get a circle around it, and then I'm gonna go sit on top of that old abandoned refrigerator up there, and it's gonna be perfectly in frame, something like that. I actually just saw an entire herd of does running through this junkyard right when I first arrived here in the morning. So I feel super bad for my friend who's literally a mile away in a blind, been waiting four days to see a doe to shoot it and I just saw like a fuck ton. So it just happens when you're hunting, you just end up in these places and you never really know where the animals are gonna go and it's a luck of the draw, but you can increase those odds by going out more. So for this next shot, uh, I wanted to pick up some object I could use as a leading line. So I found this hose and I got it nicely leading through the cactus and then right to this car here. So I'm capturing the junk, 
the cactus, which I absolutely love, and then the actual car subject all in one shot. And then I'm using this neatly as a frame as well, because it's gonna frame right on the top there. That's the great thing about this junk car is you can just use objects that are laying around to help create the subjects. Don't feel like you have to have everything already laid out for you and capture the scene as it is, but you can create your own scene and, you know, make it art. Probably also has something to do with the fact that I've been freaked out about snakes the entire time I've been in here, so I'm imagining the garden hose and probably subconsciously picked it up without even meaning to, as an object of meaning. And finally guys, I gotta get the Instagram shot, I gotta be in the frame, I gotta be standing on a car. So, what I'm gonna do, it's got the nice sunlight pouring in through here, it's gonna shine right on top of the roof, create a nice silhouette right on top of this beautiful blue Chevy, and it's gonna be great. Well guys, thanks for watching. That's all I got for you today. Drop me a like, subscribe, all the usual. Got a lot more vlogs coming on the way soon, so keep that in mind, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.